Hey guys, it's Lisa Lee. Thanks for visiting my channel. If you like the video, don't forget to comment, like, or subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Today we're going to be doing a cat ear headband. Um, well, it's already made, but we're just going to be bedazzling it. Like, we're going to be adding chains and, like, jewels. Everything from this project is going to be from Michael's Art Supplies. Um, everything basically costs less than $7. Like, this was $6. This was the most expensive thing I got there. The headbands are actually buy one, get one free. The next thing I got, which was a good starter, which is for a different project, was like half off, so it was $3. So, when I saw this headband, I like immediately started getting a design in my head. So then I went to my handy dandy sketchbook and I drew a little design. Basically, as you can see here, there's chains going from the, the ears, one ear to the other. Um, there's going to be crystals on the top tier and a big butterfly and other crystals on the bottom. Um, basically, on the side, I listed each different thing I was getting that day and I wrote down the price. My whole plan was to do a ethereal dark fairy, you know, garden type look. So definitely going to be including these as my face stickers. I'm just going to put some lash glue on it and apply it under my eyes. It's going to be super cute. This is what we're going to be starting with. It's really cute. This was $6. The most important thing you're going to need are handy dandy pliers. So here are some of the other things I got. These were $4. I got these. They have sort of a um, rainbowish, translucent um, overcoat to them, so I thought they were really cute, especially because they're pink. And these are the chains. It's like for a dollar more, I could have got um, a larger chain, but I wasn't really sure if it would work out. Maybe the chain would be too heavy, so I just opted for the smaller chain. The chain was five dollars. Because they're too small to connect the chain to the headband, you know, I have another set of loops that I'm going to show you. Um, but these, however, were $3. Only $3. Very important part of the process. This gorgeous, 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 gorgeous butterfly pendant. The butterfly pendant was the more expensive thing of the of the bunch. It's expensive item other than the headband because it's so detailed. It was five dollars. It's so pretty. This I got from oh a uh, 34th Street jewelry store that was closing. I got it for only a dollar. Let's get started. It's my first project, so I'm really really excited about it. Here we go.
finished piece I might add another you know line of crystals but I'm not really sure it depends on how it lays right now really pretty it really all depends on where you put the headband since it's the base I wanted the butterfly to be right here or you can make it higher it's up to you where you want it but I think it's gorgeous wow um honestly you should really put the pendant on another you know hoop loop but I'm just doing it because I want it to dangle and I just want it like that. But normally if you have a bigger, you know, pendant, you should probably put it on another loop and put it on there so it doesn't move side to side. This is exactly how I pictured it. <laughs> I can't wait to shoot this look. Like super basic. But, um, yeah, like I said, I might add a string of chain and add different jewels. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. So it'll be like a cluster of jewels on the side. Cause there's enough jewels on the top of my head. <laughs> I love it, it's so cute. So I also wanted to add these babies. They're super cute, rainbow colored. I was gonna add it with Duo Lash Glue. Usually they come with adhesive already, but what I'm gonna do is, what I'm doing is adding adhesive myself. I'm just doing that my way instead of buying it pre-glued. not to put a lot of glue. Oh, so close to my eye. So it's just one of my mini drawings of different goddesses that I wanted to actually make into reality. I love it. 